Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today we're gonna take a look at yet another mod and yet another mod from Australia. Uh, I'm kind of in a Australian drive right now but I only have this one back and then a koala we're gonna look at tomorrow. Um, but today it is the common wombat uh, and I actually always thought that the wombat just was a baby version of the koala uh, not actually the baby of the koala but a smaller more baby look like a more uh, baby fatty version of the koala but uh, when we compare the size to that's one but both of them here we have the koala this is the koala from the main game there then you can actually see it's twice as big uh, as the koala and it seems to be more like a four legged and the, where the koala is more a two-legged animals and then uses as hands. Uh, thereby, I don't say that they can use their four paws as hands, but they. Uh, but when they walk around, they seem and the way they sit, it seems that they are more four-legged than the uh, koala. I don't know this animal that well, so I can't tell you if it's the animal or the mud. But it's so cute, it's so cute. Uh, it is made by the production. <laughs> um, and if you want to get this mud yourself, then I have linked it below along with a tutorial by Leaf Production on how to get it. Uh, remember that if you install mods into your game, it is on your own risk when Frontier doesn't approve of it. And therefore, do you ruin your game? It's your fault. Um, I have never had bigger issues than I had to reinstall the game. And that was because I didn't use the tutorials on YouTube. Now I do, so I have... Uh, sometimes I accidentally download a mod from an uh, older version that would be now when you go on Nexus a lot of the mods ha haven't been updated for the 1.9 update and therefore if you use a 1.8 or an even older version then you will crash your game then you just remove the mod again and your game will work again but uh, let's check Superpedia they are from Australia, sugar there, and they live in the tropical, timbered and grassland biomes. They need uh, 1.8 1 square meters, meters again. Yeah, sorry, I really need to point this out because uh, I don't want to get any complaint. They don't need any climate or any water. By adding another animal, uh, you will need 60 more square meters and by adding a baby you will need 30 square meters extra. Uh, you need a grade 2 fence um, in the height of 5.94 feet. I think that is about 2 meters. Uh, I don't know why this transl don't translate. Some of the mods do, some of them don't. Normally my game is in meters. In here it's the same stats as the koala. One male, three females. We can have three males without females, four females without males. Male dominance hierarchy. Old males tend to have their own harem. I'm just, I'm just gonna check here. If it's a total copy paste, no, not a total because here the koala says males fight for access to females. Um, I will just uh, make a note that this is the common wombat. There are more wombats out there in the world, and there are also another wombat on Nexus right now, but the other one haven't been updated yet. Uh, for the 1.9, so I only use this one. 
They are polyamorous, confident about human, and human can into the habitat. They are 90, 90, sorry, 39 in long. They can be up to. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, we have. Uh, sorry, I have filmed. I think this is the sixth uh, mod I view today, uh, recording today. And all of them say five years here, but then down here they are sexual active until they turn 30 years. I know it doesn't affect the game, it doesn't affect uh, the animal itself in any ways. It's just the detail that uh, kind of more and more frustrating after it's on all of the mods. Um, and I think most of the much we viewed today was from Leaf, so Leaf, please fix it. <laughs> um, but after saying that, I love Leaf's mod and I love his uh, mod showcase and I love the builds he makes on YouTube. So it's not, I have nothing against Leaf, it's just sometimes there's just some detail that he miss and uh, I kind of think it's funny uh, that he keep mi missing the same detail. They get one baby uh, a year and they're pregnant for a month. They um, are, yeah, average uh, uh, reproduction wise in captivity. Um, going over here, they have no interspecies enrichment, which I think it's sad because it. I would like them to have interspecies uh, enrichment with the kangaroo, the koala, and maybe the wallaby. This is the yellow footed rock wallaby, this is the bennet wallaby, and we also have a swamp wallaby somewhere. Nope, maybe they all died at this point. Um, <laughs> so, but, uh, he, and they are all made by the leaf, so. When he made these mods, it would be nice if they worked together and gave interspecies enrichments to each other. Um, well, chai wise, they don't have that much to pick. They have these uh, wind chimes, we have the mirror mobile, and we got this uh, herb scent marker. And then, as food enrichment, they have the eucalyptus. Uh, yeah, e e e eucalyptus tree feeder. It's the same as the koala from the game. Uh, so that's yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, where are you? I like to take you out in the sun. Just if we can have some sun here. What are you two doing there? Yeah, and now you're drowning, your friend. <laughs> Something just seems wrong about that. Um, yeah, that made it easier. Now, can we have a look at you? We're gonna stop the time here and then we go for a close up. Again, I don't know this animal. So for instance, the ears have this bent to them. Which I don't know if it's supposed to be there. I do. Yeah, sorry. I just like to look if uh, the mother's been watching the animal for e every single angle. Uh, and in here, it looks great. They don't have a tail, which I actually thought they did, uh, but they don't. And here you see it kind of look like individual strands of hair. I will say I have seen leaf make a uh, bit of fur than this. Uh, but it doesn't look bad by any account. Um, I actually like that the hair here goes up here and kind of um, sits on top of the hair from the neck. Uh, which fur wouldn't 
uh, fur would do in real life. Uh, oh, this is not easy. I never learned to control my camera. I don't know how Leaf does this in his showcase. Uh, the claws overall look nice, but this one seems like uh, it's just stuck on this side of the foot. Also here, it th there's missing a toe or something like that that it could sit on. So that's a little mark in my book. Oh, what did I just see there? Yeah. Up here you can see there's a line. Up here. Which kind of feels wrong because the one bed wouldn't have this long hairs. That went all the way up here. So instead of just making multiple small small hair sticking up he made just a few that was longer and down there i don't think the one bed would look like that um again i'm go i'm gonna use it it it's not a bad mod by any account there's just <laughs> a few things that i see look uh, think looks fun so why don't we try to find a baby Got two babies and a pregnant. Where are. What? You were the baby? Wait. If you're the baby, that is a, uh, 0 0.1 year old, this one. But if you're the baby, then I'm just gonna find an adult and move over. Yeah, would you please stand there? Okay, there there are a size difference, clearly. Um, it's not the biggest size difference, and I refuse to believe that a wombat this size gives birth to a wombat that size. Um, that was kind of you. I do feel like maybe the adult have more details here than the baby. Again, I don't know why I call them babies all the time, but here you can see the. I don't know if it's just me, but I do feel like there is a tiny more here on the adult. It still looks good from beneath. It doesn't have that long strain up here as the baby did. Instead, it have this thingy. And again here, yeah, there lies something there. And again here, it kind of looks like it have a, uh, uh, you know, when uh, when you see people draw on the on YouTube, then they t first draw with loose, uh, loose lines where they actually placed quite a few just kind of the same place and then afterward they'd go back and just uh, uh, and draw a more uh, a thicker line that actually is the one they use it kind of looks like he uh, did that but never removed all of the practice lines about how where it should be um, it's not the first of his mods that I have seen this on um, which I actually think is sad because he's a really good mother in my opinion um, but again as a you can see you need to go in here to see it if you play around out here you would never have noticed it um, it's just me who goes that close apparently um so yeah uh let's just see it walk a bit around and um, most likely some of the animation is from the koala i assume he used the koala mod to make it but i'm not sure 
We can also see the front paws, they look mm, a lot paw-like, where the koala actually have a thumb. Uh, where it doesn't seem like the wombat have that. Uh, I do like the wiggling, uh, wiggly way it works. Uh, the, this um, kind of reminds me from uh, uh, Madagascar, um, the animated movie where the I think it's the second movie where they land in Africa and there's a hippo who sings about he liked uh, Thaddeus. I I only heard the song is in uh, Danish. Um, oh, here you can actually also see some stripes up here. That's kind of the same issue, but again, don't go so close. Out here, it's a perfect mud. <laughs> um, anyway, I won't bore you anymore today. Um, yeah, I like the mud and I'm going to use it. Um, yeah. You know the drill. Like, subscribe and turn on the bell of notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!